Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, the question is Mr. Dubey borrows rupees 1 lakh from State Bank of India at 11% per annum compound interest. He pays rupees 41,000 at the end of first year and rupees 47,700 at the end of second year. We find the amount outstanding at the beginning of the third year. So, this is the question I solved. This. So, this question will be the simple interest formula. So, let's start. So, first year I did for first year. Principal will equal to rupees 1 lakh as given. Rate is equal to 11%. And time will be first year, one year. So, therefore, we write SI for first year. Is equal to P at TY 100. The so formula is P at TY 100. So that means principal and rate no time by 100. So, you put the values. So that means 1 lakh into 11 into 1 by 100. So cut the zeros. So it remains 1000 into 11, which will equal to rupees 11,000. So for this is the interest for the first year. So now we can write like this that therefore the amount that need to be paid. At the end of first year, is equal to that means the amount that is uh, the total amount that is to be paid. So that is equal to the formula principal plus SI. So principal is one lakh plus eleven thousand, which will be equal to rupees one lakh eleven thousand. Therefore, this is the um, total amount that need to be paid at the end of first year. But in the question, it is given that at the end of first year, rupees 41,000 is given. So, therefore, right? Amount paid is at the end of first year. Is equal to rupees given 41,000. So, therefore, you can write. So, now, so this is the amount at the payment. Now we write that the principal for second year. So the principal for second year for it will be the amount that need to be paid at the end of first year that is 11,000 11, minus the amount that is paid at the end of first year that is 41,000. So it becomes 11,000 11, minus 41,000 which will be equal to rupees 70,000 so therefore this is the principal for the second year so now you can find, find out the interest for the second year so therefore you can write the SI for second year so interest for second year formula same formula P activate 100 so put the values principal we got 70,000 into rate that is 11 percent into 1 time by 100 so you cut the zeros so remains 700 into 11 which will be equal to rupees 7700 so therefore this is the interest for the second year so now uh, like uh, this statement also is like the amount pay, um, that need to be paid at the end of first we will write the amount that need to be paid at the end of second year so therefore the amount that need to be paid at the end of second year so it is it will be rupee sorry principal plus SI formula so principal is our 70,000 plus the SI that is 7,700 Which will be equal to rupees seventy seven thousand seven hundred. So therefore, this is the amount at, total amount that need to be paid at the end of second year. So now, in, in the question, it is also given that at the end of second year, forty seven thousand seven hundred rupees is given. So therefore, we write the amount paid at the end of second year. So 
so it will be mm, the amount sorry the amount that is paid at the end of second year that is equal to rupees for uh, 47700 so now therefore we write the final statement like this the amount outstanding at the beginning of beginning of the third year is equal to so therefore so it will be 77,700 minus the amount that is paid at the end of second year that is 47,700 so it will be equal to rupees 30,000 so therefore this is the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions